welcome to my latest haul video. As promised, I went back to Target, so stay tuned to see what I got. So this time at Target, I was by myself, so I had a little bit more time to look. And I really kind of loaded up on <laughs> what appears to be a sort of decor, DIY, and then clothes. Obviously, I always find something that I need. Uh, so I'm going to start sort of with the DIY um, and then move on to decor. But I did get to go to the dollar spot this time. Uh, they had some really beautiful fall things. Um, if you're hosting tailgate parties, they had a lot of game day stuff. Um, they had some really cute stuff for Halloween they were starting to put out. So if you were in the mood, sorry there was a bug that distracted me, uh, if you were in the mood for those kind of items, then I would definitely head to your Target and hit up the Dollar Tree spot. Dollar Tree. The Dollar Spot, not Dollar Tree. Um, but I found this glitter tape. It's just the uh, washi tape, I think. And you got these four beautiful colors. Um, and this roll was a dollar. I think it says it's three yards yeah, three yards. That's what it says. Um, I had to read it there. Um, but I got this for a DIY. Uh, if you saw, excuse me, my throat's so dry. It's definitely fall, y'all. Um, my uh, Dollar Tree video, I got some what they call carvable pumpkins. And I'm actually going to use this washi tape on one of them. Um, check out that video. I'm going to do a DIY on how I did the pumpkins. So... If you're interested in seeing how I use this, then definitely check that out. Also along the same lines, uh, for one of the pumpkins, I kind of want to do a succulent um, arrangement. I'd done one previously using Dollar Tree items, and when I went to the Dollar Tree this last time, I was looking for the succulents not in a pot themselves, but kind of like on a, uh, a pick, if you will. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Um, and I couldn't find them. And so when I went to Target, I was really lucky and I found these on the clearance rack. So these are very, very similar. Even, um, I would say a little bit better, <laughs> actually, than the, than the ones I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, but I was able to find these. And if you see like the pick, what I'm referring to here, that's what I was looking for. So I was able to get these three. They only had these three left, so a bit limiting, but you're on the clearance rack, so that's kind of what you would you know, assume. You're not going to get your full variety of things. But these originally retailed for $2.99, and I got them for $0.88 cents each. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see on these, but um, $0.88 cents each. And obviously that's better than a dollar, what I would have paid at the Dollar Tree. So now I'm just kind of letting them air out um, before I actually put them on the pumpkin. Kind of get them to straighten out, you know, so they look a little bit more real. Uh, but like I said, I got three of those. And again, these were, sorry if you can see that one. These were $0.88 cents a piece. And almost exactly what I needed and wanted. So I was very, very happy with this purchase. And like I said, if you are interested in seeing how I use these, definitely check out that DIY video. Hopefully I will have it up soon. Even though it is fall, it is definitely still hot. So if I'm a little misty, that's why I have the air on and the fan on. Hopefully you uh, won't be distracted by that white noise. <laughs> but um, it is definitely still warm here, even though it's fall. Uh, but now I'm going to move on to decor. <laughs> Sorry to get on that little tangent. Um... So, when I was in the same section looking for the succulents, excuse me again, dry, uh, I just found this really cute little trinket box. I'm going to use it as a jewelry box, but um, I thought this was really beautiful. If you kind of, hopefully I can, it's going to glare because it's called glass and metal, but uh, I thought it was really cute. It's by the company 88 Main Blueprints for Living in Style. You see that? Sorry. Again, it's metallic, so <laughs> it's one to, um, but I think it's a really, uh, really good construction. Got this hinged lid, this uh, chain to keep it from going all the way back and cracking on you. Um, it has this nice, you know, metal feet, uh, nice, lovely little um, velvet bottom. Sorry, I'll get in a second. It says it's glass and polished nickel. 
It's five and a half inches by three and a half inches by 2.9 inches, if that's something interesting to you. Uh, and then they had these in a bigger square um, box. <laughs> Brain just went completely blank. Um, but I really like this size and shape for what I'm going to use it for. Um, it was originally $9.99. I got it for $2.98. And again, I'm just going to use this as a little trinket box um, to keep my jewelry in. Um, but I thought that was really cute. And then just on the other uh, end aisle, I think that's what they call them, um, I found these items. Again, definitely an impulse purchase, but I thought these were just really cute. So the first, um, it's a canvas and wood sign, a uh, gold foil framed canvas, that's how they're calling it. Um, it does have, I'll show you this, it does have the hanger if you wanted to hang it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll actually use it, but it does have one there. But this one says, girl, again, sorry about the glare, a uh, girl, goddess in real life. I thought that was just really cute. These originally retailed for $6. You can see that up there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, and I got it for $1.80. Hold on. going to take a break. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, it, it, I got it for $1.80. And I thought, really good price for that. Again, if you see my Dollar Tree hauls, a blank canvas I get for a dollar. So one that's already made up and framed really good deal and then this one is what really caught my eye um, it's just like the other one uh, same retail price six dollars I got it for a dollar eighty but this is probably my mantra in life uh, nap first adult later uh, if you remember again a Dollar Tree haul I have a sign that says nap queen um, and so again I just thought that was really cute i uh, not entirely sure how I'm going to incorporate these into my decor, but um, I loved them and I thought they were just, just had to get them. And then on the same end aisle as the succulents, I believe, I got this light box. And I've seen these um, in a lot of places. I actually saw this uh, when I lived in Tucson. Uh, they have 99 cent stores out there, if you're familiar with 99 cent stores. And I think there it was $5.99, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure. Please don't quote me on that. Uh, but I saw this one, and it has, um, let's see, includes one light box and 100 inserts. I'm sorry, you can't even see it. Um, and it has these emoticons as well. I think that's how you call it, the emoticon. Um, and so you can add these along with your letters. I think it comes with 100 letters, it says. Um, and I just thought that would be really cute, maybe putting it in the backdrop somewhere. Um, I'll show you on the back all the letters you can get. Um, and it actually has different ways you can charge it, so you can use batteries or USB. Uh, unfortunately, none of these are included, but that's okay. Um, this actually retailed for, let me turn it back around, for $9.99. And I believe I paid $2.98 for it. Yeah. 298 so uh, they had a lot of these too um, it looks like they're really getting rid of a lot of their I guess dorm decor if you will since kids have gone back to school by now they had a lot of string lights that were still available and they had a lot of things like this a lot of the canvases were still available so if that's something that you like these would make great Christmas presents you got to start thinking early. We're already into October, so we're just a couple of months away from Christmas. So again, items like this would be really cute, uh, a really fun gift idea. So again, check out your Target, see what you can find. Last but not least, I actually uh, went and found some clothing items. I didn't necessarily need one of them. I needed the other one. Um, but hey, if you see something that's a good deal, you got to get it, right? right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I actually needed a new bathing suit, and I figured now that it's fall time, things are going to go on clearance. You're not going to pay a huge uh, amount for a swimsuit, or at least I thought. Um, and, and I really like Target swimsuits, sorry as I show it to you and then talk to you about it. Um, this is one 
can see from the company Aqua Green. This is not a company I'm familiar with, but um, I really like the suit, so I decided to get it. Uh, the suit originally retailed for $42.99, and I got it for $12.88. You can see that. Now I'm going to actually show you the suit. So it's a little long. I've been doing water aerobics, and so I really need something that um, is going to support me. And I tend to like shorts as opposed to, you know, um, a brief style bathing suit. If, if hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and I also like if you can adjust the straps, uh, either if you have, you know, two straps or, or like a halter. And so this one I actually found it's a halter. And so I now I can adjust this strap to fit me. Um, and it'll be comfortable whichever way I decide to wear it. Yeah, I'm not a fashionista, so just kind of trying to show you there. Um, and then it has these, it has a built-in bra. Hopefully I can show you that. It's black, so it's not going to be easy to see. Uh, but it has this built-in bra and cups, which are molded, which are really nice. I like, especially, again, if you're working out or if you're just out. Excuse me. Excuse me again. <laughs> My throat's so dry. Um. If you're out and about, you know, you don't want everybody to know your business. Um, I really like, I really liked that. And then it just kind of has this little, sort of modeling it, um, this little tie detail. And this is actually a fun functional tie, so um, if you wanted, you could undo it, do it up in a bow, whatever. Um, and then it kind of has this blouse effect here, if you can see about a bloused waist. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. Um, and then it goes into these shorts, which I really like. Like I said, I like the shorts. Um, it has a brief underneath. Again, doing a great job here. Uh, it does have the brief part underneath. Kind of try to show you there. So you're still going to get that support, um, but you're then going to get the looseness of the the shorts. And this really reminded me of a romper. So if you're familiar with rompers, that's really what it reminded me of. Um, but I just love this. And again, I thought for $12.88, um, this will definitely serve me well when I'm in the pool doing my water aerobics. Um, and black is just kind of a good, you know, neutral color, if you will. And then the very last item I got Again, impulse purchase. I was on the dollar spot, or I was at the dollar spot, and again, they have a lot of their floral, um, florals, they have a lot of their fall stuff out now, and this is no exception. They also have fall clothing, so if you're looking for toboggans, mittens, scarves, uh, felt hats, then you definitely want to check this out. So let me bend down and get it. <laughs> again, Definitely an impulse purchase. I picked up this Panama hat. Hopefully you can see it here. Uh, they had this in a gray and a green, as well as this black. At least those are the ones I saw. And this is this was five dollars. It just says Panama hat. If you can see it. But I really like the black one. Um, I actually have a felt hat or a felt wool hat. That I got at CARM, which is a thrift store in Knoxville, Tennessee, um, and surrounding areas, I should say. Um, and I really love it. And so when I saw this one, it's very reminiscent of that. Um, that hat is not a Panama hat, but I like the shape of the Panama hat. So if you can kind of see it here, I'd say a Panama hat is like a cross between a cowboy hat and maybe just like a floppy hat. I don't know. I have no idea about hats but I just like them and I think they're pretty um, and then I like this one again because it kind of had a contrast so you have the the uh, brown uh, almost belt around the brim of the hat and I just really like this and I tend to have a big head and this one fit um, me almost perfectly um, of course obviously you're gonna have to play with it and get it to be like you want it but and it'll look better once I have my hair down and not sweating like a pig but um, I thought this was really cute and so for five dollars I picked it up and um, I kind of look like a pilgrim right now 
but hopefully when I jazz it up and have it with the perfect outfit it'll look um, it'll look much better but like I said they had this in a beautiful green too and if I had an outfit that I knew I was going to wear with that I probably would have picked that one up as well um, but yeah I just really love this and for five dollars I thought why not Whew, we made it through another haul video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up also I would love for you all to subscribe I hope in the month of October I can get 10 subscribers I think we're at 8 right now so please help me as I try to reach that goal as I said I hope you all enjoyed the video sorry it wasn't very long uh, maybe I'll already start planning my next trip to Target and see what we can get but I did hope I do hope that you enjoyed it um, and if you did, I will catch you in the next video. See you all next time. Goodbye.